top British wedding planner Jane Dayus Hinch knows her nuptials. With more than 20 years' experience, she has seen it all. No hands in pockets and tell me nobody's chewing gum. But Jane's about to come face to face with a bride who's knocked up and fed up. I'm looking forward to it being over. And a groom whose idea of romance is cracking open a bottle of rye. That can get drunk. Will Jane be able to beat these two? Or will she end up joining them? Where do I spit? Brent and Melissa's life together started off simply. I needed a partner, and I just kind of yelled there, like, hey, who wants to play pool? But as soon as they started planning their wedding, things got complicated. Melissa's four and a half months pregnant. Things happened a little quicker than I had anticipated. The stress of a pregnancy and a wedding is starting to take its toll. The baby's suffering, in my opinion, and the wedding is starting to suffer. We haven't got our marriage license yet. We need to plan the ceremony. We haven't been able to coordinate with the church or um, actually work at any of the details of the actual service. We don't really know who has invitations and who doesn't have invitations. We had originally had the minister at St. James who went off on medical leave and is not coming back. That kind of drives me a little berserk. Things have just started falling apart including the store where Brent and Melissa were making the wedding wine. There was a notice on the door saying that the locks had been changed. We lost $700 because of the wine. Well, at least Melissa has her dream dress. Ever since Princess Diana's wedding, I, you know, I just love the train, and so this dress has the most amazing train. But the train isn't the problem. It's the caboose. It's a little small. Yeah, a little small. Is it any wonder Brent and Melissa are about to throw in the towel? Melissa is going to lose her freaking mind. I just want all my problems to go away. It's just, it's just going to be a disaster. Enter wedding wizard Jane Deus Hinch. Jane's a British wedding planner who's about to barge in on Brent and Melissa. Hi, I'm Jane. She'll act as their fairy godmother and grant them three wishes to save their doomed wedding. Cool. Hopefully Jane will be organized and very good at what she does. I didn't expect Jane to be British. I hear that you've got more on your plate than you can handle. Well, right now we've got um, our, our planning our wedding and we're expecting our first child. Go. Mmm, sounds like things are off to a good start. So this is the reception hall. As you can see, it's quite spacious. When I walked in the reception hall, great big space, needs a lot of work. We're not sure exactly what's going on with decorations. Brent's mom is in, in charge of all of the decorations, so she's planned everything out. And Mom can be a little over the top sometimes with decorations, and I'm worried about it being too much. So you're giving mom license to do everything she wants to do? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. OK. Um, How many guests? About, about 200 guests, give or take. There's at least 50 people who haven't responded. And the wedding is only two weeks away. Who doesn't have their final numbers for catering purposes such short notice before their wedding? Do you know what's being provided as, um, with regard to uh, table linen? No. Have you seen the crockery and the cutlery, the glassware? No. no. We don't have a clue what's going on. Um, cake? Uh, the cake will be, I don't know where the cake will be. We I don't have, know. We don't know? No. I don't even know what the cake looks like. If I heard I don't know once, I heard it 20 times. There is so much we've got to do. Yes. But Jane doesn't know the half of it. Next stop on the wedding disaster tour, the church. Pew ends. They'll be decorated. Every one, every other one. I have no idea. Have you got a runner? No. You've spoken to the, the priest and sorted out everything? No. Jane was shocked when when she found out that we didn't have a minister. We're in the right place to say <laughs> prayers. Disaster, mess, catastrophe. What word do you want me to use? Can, is there a better word? How about delusional? Coming up, Melissa's dream dress comes apart at the seams. Melissa's dreaming if she thinks that that dress is just two sizes too small. 
in my world of denial, I'm still wearing that dress. Melissa and Brent's dream wedding has officially become a nightmare. I have nightmares almost every night. She's always getting up and rolling around and in bed and kicking me and... It's killing me, yeah. Their RSVPs got lost in the mail. They don't have a marriage license. Who let me forget to give them this? Their winemaker went out of business. Their minister has gone AWOL. And pregnant bride Melissa can't fit into her dress. I'm gonna be six months pregnant on my wedding day. Luckily, hotshot British wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch has answered their wedding SOS. Hi, I'm Jane. Jane's a fairy godmother who will grant them three wishes to save their wedding debacle. I've got to get them focused and we've got to get some decisions being made here or otherwise we're going to run out of time. And so Jane puts marker to whiteboard and comes up with a plan. This is one of the biggest wedding problems <laughs> I've ever had to solve. When Melissa and Brent saw the plan, their jaws dropped. I'm sure there's lots of stuff that I don't even know about. The ceremony. I think that's where we've got to put a lot of concentration. The ceremony is a big, a big thing as far as I'm concerned. If they don't get a minister, there'll be no ceremony. The venue. We need a room plan and the layout of how all that is going to work. How is all that going to fit into that room? If they're planning on cramming 200 people into that room, they really need to work on the layout. Decorations. Right. We need a meeting with whoever's doing decorating. If someone was decorating something for me, I'd want to know a lot more about it. Are you having favours? We are. And what are you doing? We're doing CDs. Oh, CDs. How novel. For everyone? Yes. yes. Are they done? No. <laughs> we had it all saved on the computer and Brent erased it by accident. Wine. Where are we at with the wine? What's got to happen now? We'll need to get the labels printed and then bottle the wine. How long is that going to take? Once the labels come in, it shouldn't take long to have yeah, the, them printed. A couple hours. They think it'll take a couple of hours to do 200 bottles of wine? Yeah, right. Invitations. We need to know final numbers. That's probably the biggest stressor right now. But the next item is the big one. Mm. But not big enough. Attire. Where are we at with your wedding dress? I'm worried about my dress. Looks like it's time for Jane to give Melissa and Brent a dose of reality. We've got baby on the way. We've got, it's, it's enormous. But I'm here to help. We've got the three wishes. Use them wisely. I didn't realize that we still had so much to do at this point. I thought we were um, a little further ahead of the game than, than we are. But now that Jane set them straight, the couple gets straight to work. Melissa looks for a miracle worker to fix her Not dress. dress here. Brent, on the other hand, doesn't do anything on Jane's list. Instead, he gets his ears lowered. Lovely. The mullet crisis may be over, but Melissa's about to get some bad news. There's no way her dress can be saved. We do have wedding dress rentals. At this point, Melissa may want to try on the bag the dress came in. That might fit. I really wanted my dress. So I'm not ready to, to start looking at this point. So Melissa tries another store, but she gets the same reaction. There is not enough to let this dress out. You might want to consider finding a new dress, maybe. I think we're definitely going up several sizes. I think we're really up to a size 18. I think Melissa yeah. thinks she's a 14, but not when it comes to reality well, and bridal wear. But since the wedding budget is as tight as the dress, buying a new dress is not an option. I think I'm gonna have to talk to Jane and see if she can grant me a wish. Melissa gave me her first wish, and that was to get her dress altered so that she could fit into her dress for her wedding day. So Jane has called and said that she has a seamstress who is confident that she can help with my dress, so we're going there with our fingers and toes crossed that she'll be able to work miracles for us. I can make you a tie back, right? Between us, we've now put together this whole thing of making it into a corset with a modesty panel in the back. But with Melissa's ever-growing bump, there's no guarantee the dress will actually fit on the wedding day. Still a little bit of a reservation, but we're, we're hopeful that it will all work out in the end 
and I'll have my dress of my dreams. That remains to be seen. And guess what? There's another problem. Hi, Mom. Just wondering if you can come help me bottle wine tomorrow. That's all right, I should be able to get some other people together. Hey, Chris, what's going on? Ah, uh, you're working too, eh? Dennis, all right, talk to you later, bye. But all of his bottling buddies are busy, so Brent starts whining. Hello. Everybody that was supposed to help me bottle wine tomorrow is, uh, has now backed out on me. So uh, I need tons of help for tomorrow afternoon. Okay, see you there. Coming up, will Jane spit or swallow? You didn't give me a bucket, did you? And Brent pops the question. I love you. I want to marry you. Here you go. That was the most pathetic proposal ever. Brent and Melissa's wedding plans have completely fallen apart. The whole process from start to finish has been a pretty much a disaster. But hotshot wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch is here to grant them three wedding wishes. It can be done, but not by these two. Melissa asked Jane to fix her dream dress. And some help. And now with only five days left, the moment of truth has arrived. Will the dress fit the bun and the oven? That's your dress? Yes. Wish granted. Thank you. Now it's time for the second wish, bottling wine with Brent. Bottling wine is a wish? Manual labor. I don't know what it'll do to the nails. But before Jane bottles anything, she insists on nosing it. God. Yeah, that, one, that one's not quite so good. You could strip lacquer off the table with that. <laughs> it just doesn't taste right, so we're left with one good batch of white and one batch of white that isn't so good. <laughs> Since Jane only knows how to empty bottles, Brent gives her a crash course on how to fill her up. Piece of cake. That's all there is to it. And with that, Jane takes over the corking. Ah. One down, 200 to go. And Brent moves on to something more manly. What bottle are you on there, Jane? Jane may see this as a waste of her talents, but she's determined to grant Brent his wish. One batch down, and one more to go. This is our Marlowe. Did he just say Marlowe? Here we go again. Teamwork. Thanks to all of Jane's hard work, Brent's done whining. Wish for the wine's done, I can get drunk. Now it's time for the couple to finally do something on their own. So Brent and Melissa go to Brent's mom's house to check on the decorations. We've got decorations in the upstairs bedroom and in the back porch and everywhere. No wonder Brent is worried. We don't want it to look gaudy out there. We want it to look nice, but it's just lay off some of the stuff. Stuff like bows, flowers, and ribbons. Oh my. These are the boutonnieres and the corsages. We made 26 of those too. After seeing the decorations, Brent and Melissa are more worried than ever. But there's still obviously things that are still concerning you. Decorations are our biggest concern again. Brent and Melissa still have one wish left. So if they were smart, they'd ask Jane to supervise the decorations. But they're not. I, uh, I need to ask your help with uh, proposing to Melissa. Is this a wish? I, I believe it would be. Brent has never proposed to Melissa. I find that quite sad. He teases and says that I could always propose to him. Yeah, right. The very next day, Jane shows up with some junk in her trunk. And chocolate. Lots and lots of chocolate. The best thing for a proposal? Strawberries, chocolate, bubbly. It's non-alcoholic bubbly, but it'll do the job. I thought it would be nice to do chocolate-covered strawberries, but all Brent could do was eat them. How many strawberries can one person eat? We have to talk about the proposal. We need some good words there. I love you. I want to marry you. Here you go. Looks like Jane needs to spend some time romancing the stone. Melissa, will you do me the honour of becoming my wife? Sounds good. You have a quick... Read through, 
and then we're going to do a rehearsal. Action. Ooh, this looks nice. I should have done this. Sorry. So tonight, I want to do the right thing informally. He couldn't put two words together. OK, blah, 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 formally ask you to marry me. I don't know whether he can pull this off. Brent, are you getting changed? No, I'm wearing this. Brent wouldn't go and get changed. Really annoyed me. In the end, all I could do was convince him to lose his baseball cap. So Jane's done all that she can do. The rest is up to Brent. Not only was he dressed like a slug, he had no shoes on, so he was barefoot and she was pregnant. There you go. He would all this. Melissa, would you do me the honor of being my wife? Why, yes. At least now we have something that we can share with people and, mm -hmm. you know, a good memory. Man, I better get laid out of this. Goodness me. Coming up, it's the wedding day, and Jane deals with one cheese ball and then another. Have you got a watcher? No. Has anybody got a watcher? Two weeks ago, bride and groom-to-be Melissa and Brent sent out a wedding SOS. This is supposed to be a, you know, happy time, and it's stressful and frustrating. Their prayers were answered by none other than British wedding planner Jane Dayas Hinch. Thank goodness I'm here. In order to get Brent and Melissa's wedding back on track, Jane waved her magic wand and granted them three wishes. Oh, dear. Where do we start with that? For wish number one, Melissa asked Jane to make her wedding dress fit. I like a challenge. <laughs> then, Brent nearly drove Jane to drink as they bottled wine. Manual labor. This could be a very long process. And for the final wish, Jane helped Brent with a proper proposal. Blah, 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 formally ask you to marry me. But now that the wedding day has arrived, Jane is needed more than ever. Too bad Brent and Melissa have wasted their wishes. Now the church and the hall have got to be decorated the morning of the wedding. I could have been a big help. So with Jane out of the picture, it's up to Brent's mom and her pals to do all of the work. We got here about quarter to seven and we got to get the place all decorated for 11.30. That's our plan, so we've got so much to do. I just don't know whether we can get this all done on time. I am a little worried. At least Melissa doesn't have anything to worry about. Want to see my something blue? Those knickers would be in a twist if she knew how Brent felt about their wedding day. Not nervous at all. It's another day. Then it's one last shot of rye, and Brent's good to go. But once again, Brent's not up to Jane's standards. The bridegroom's jacket was just so creased. Couldn't let him stand there because everybody looks at the back of the jacket. Let's have a look now. Ah, oh, much better. Dynamite. Yeah. Now, there's just a couple of loose ends to tie up. Oh, that's the limo. How many bridesmaids does it take to get a pregnant lady in a dress? <laughs> After all that, Melissa manages to squeeze into the limo. And even though the wishes have run out, Jane can't hold back. She primps the groomsman and rolls out the runner. I am the keeper of the runner. And finally, it's ceremony time. Melissa's wish was to have the dress of her dreams. And today, she got it. It was the most beautiful dress, and it did fit. I made it happen, and she did look stunning. Hi, Brent. Take you, Melissa. Take you, Melissa. To be my wife. To be my wife. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. Once the ceremony's done, Brent and Melissa get whisked away for a photo session. Um, I'm just ringing to say that everyone's leaving the church now. And Jane goes to the reception hall to inspect Brent's mom's decorations. Have you ever seen so many decorations? She's decorated everything and more. The decorations may have passed the test, but the hors d'oeuvres don't. It's lovely. And that sends Jane straight to the bar. I'm just pre-ordering 
a gin and tonic for the end of the evening. Two hours later, Brent and Melissa are nowhere to be found. I don't know, I don't know whether they've got lost in transit or lost in photographs. Brent, should you pick this message up? All your guests are here and we're wondering where you are. Jane finally tracks down Melissa and Brent just in time to make their grand entrance. The new Mr. and Mrs. Brent and Melissa Murray. Melissa and Brent had the big picture. What they didn't have was detail. Enter me, whose middle name is Attention to Detail. Jane was fabulous. She's a stickler for details. But details well, that we never would have thought yeah, of, so well, <laughs> it was very helpful yeah. to have her and very worthwhile. Very pleased on everything that she did and yeah. helped us make our special day that much more special. Yes. Which order do you want this in? Wedding, formal proposal, baby house. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? We've just, we've got it all done. There we go. Oh, God, that's not good. Ready? One, two, three. We should probably help her even. No it dinner for Missy. <laughs> you can eat tomorrow. <laughs> this is a good reason to get dressed up for. I think I look good. Should he go and get changed? <laughs>